and welcome back to Small Fabulous Home Channel. In this video, I would like to share my beach bag top 10 must haves. Grab a pen and paper and let's start. I've been in the situation where many times I get to the beach and I'm like, whoops, I forgot the sunscreen or the hat or God knows how many other stuff. Here are some of the most important things that you shouldn't miss from your beach bag. Number one, the swimsuit. This used to be my beloved two-piece swimsuit. I love the tassel and the macrame details on the swimsuit. I've been wearing it like forever. The poor material color started to fade out. I think I got this back in London at New Look, if I'm not mistaken. I still love it so much, but my dear swimsuit, it's that time. It's time for retirement. And hello new swimsuit! This crazy neon two-piece caught my eye at the store next to the beach with a bit of black here and there just to give it an extra touch. I tend to get two bottoms just to have a bit of fun and mix and match the styles. I mean, it's summer, it's fun! I also have a second swimsuit. I like to have one that is strapless so I wouldn't get a tan with stripes all over the place. Well, this one does come with the lace-up, but I never actually use it. Number two, beach towels. You should always have your own beach towel. I have two because, well, as you presume, the one with the car is my partner. <laughs> but on a serious note, you have no excuses not to have one with you. You should never lay directly on a lawn chair for so many reasons involving hygiene. Number three, sun care products. Two very important skincare products that you should have with you in your beach bag are the sun cream with an SPF that is suitable for your skin and an oil protection. I have a dry oil spray that is much easier to use than the normal oil protection. By using these products, you can avoid sunburns and prevent skin aging. One important reminder is that if you stay out of the sun in the middle of the day, don't just rely on sunscreen. Don't have favorites for the sun products as throughout the years I did try so many versions and I didn't quite see a difference between the products. Number 4. Sunglasses Yes, those beloved shades that we all love. You're pretty and stylish, but mostly your eyes will thank you for wearing them. The most important benefit of wearing sunglasses is that they can protect your eyes from the UV light. I protect my shades in this pouch, love how it is compact and it can fit in any bag. I just realized I am starting to have more and more stuff with this holographic style. Let me know what you think, do you like it, do you hate it? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Number 5. The Beach Bag this is mine and yes, it's not that fancy, still looking for one that looks much better. Until then, well, this does the trick. What I'm looking for in a beach bag is to be spacious so it can fit all the stuff that I need. Also to have this little hidden pocket for my phone and my keys. Number 6. The Sun Hat Sadly, during summer I tend to have many heat strokes, so I would use this cap even when I go swimming. I know it's kind of weird, but it works. Of course, there are so many options out there to use as sun hat, but for me, this one seems to be the best. At least, I won't lose it if it's windy on the beach. <laughs> Number seven, a fan and your wallet. I personally carry a hand fan with me all the time during summer. The thing with the hand fans is that they should be large enough to give you enough wind so you can breathe. By all means, I would suggest getting the small battery chargeable fan. I think this would be much better. This is top on my shopping list right now. And also, don't forget your wallet. How many times you went to the beach and wanted to get a cold drink from that beach bar and realized you forgot your wallet? I did. Many times. So I would say this is a must item on the list for the beach bag. Number 8 beach mat. I know that we love to stay on a launch chair, but this is not always available. 
during this period and thanks to this damn virus, staying away from crowded places makes you reach parts of the beach which are less accessible. So this means actually laying directly on the sand using a foldable beach mat. Better safe than sorry. This is how I would take my beach bag with me, with all the stuff in it. Yes, there are only the basic stuff. I tend to take so much more stuff with me that are not really that needed. I like how easy it is to hang my hat on the side. I have everything I need in here. Glasses, hand pen, wallet. But wait, what am I missing? Oh yeah, the slippers. Number 9, the slippers. Slippers, flip-flops, whatever you want to call it beach shoes. <laughs> Mine are these plain boring ones. I can't wear flip-flops because they are very painful in combination with sand. However, I would like some new ones, so please share your ideas in the comments below. I need some ideas on new slippers. And this gets us to number 10, water. Hydration, hydration, hydration. Take a bottle from your fridge whenever you leave your home. It will get warm eventually, but you'll drink it by then. These were my most important items from the beach bag. I would call them basic and must items. Thank you so much for watching, see you on Instagram and please click on that subscribe button. Next video I will continue on the summer products and items, so keep on watching. Have a lovely summer and stay safe.